If you've ever tried to lose weight or belly fat for good and had a really tough time, it's because there's so much more to just trying to lose weight by working out or dieting. Here are three things I'm going to share with you right now. Top three things that you must do first to let go the old weight, the old weight of the past. When I call it weight of the past, it's because this weight that you have, whether it's five pounds, 10 pounds or more, chances are you didn't put on this weight yesterday or last week. Chances are this weight came on, you know, months ago, years ago, right? So I call it the weight of the past. And in order for you to let go of this weight of the past, you have to do so much more than just working out or dieting or whatever people are telling you to do because those things are just sort of surface level things. You need to do these top three things and I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna share them with you right now. <laughs> Tip number one, you must be willing to let it go to waste because it's better to go to waste than to go to waste. And what I mean by that is when you were young, you're probably taught to eat everything on your plate. Eat everything. Don't let the food go to waste because there's people starving in this world. <laughs> so here's the thing. That's an old conditioning that is not really that conducive to self-empowerment, right? Because Sometimes you just have to stop eating. If you're full, you're full. You just stop eating. You have to listen to your own body and not somebody, okay? Especially, especially if you have a wellness goal to, to get healthy or lose weight, then you've got to learn to listen to your own body and just stop eating. It's okay to just pack that food up and eat for later, right? Eat half now, half later, or maybe just, you know, give it away. You know, I remember one time walking down the street and I had some leftovers and I you know, passed this person asking for money, and I said, I don't have any change right now, but I do have some food, and he was so happy. He said, I'll take it, right? So really, you can just pack it away for later or just give it away, okay? Better to go to waste than to go to waste. <laughs> now, number two is that you gotta go through all your cupboards and fridge in your house and just see what's in there right now that doesn't really belong there anymore, that you can get rid of. You no longer need that weight. These are all old weight of the past. So maybe you can, you know, enjoy these things outside your house, like when you're at a party or at a restaurant. You don't necessarily have to have them in your house, so you're constantly eating them over and over again, and really that's not conducive to what you're trying to achieve, right? So perhaps just have a few fun snacks, mindfully, you know, choose the ones that are, you know, really good for you, healthy, low calorie, taste good, and keep those in your house, and then just have everything else outside your home. That's why we call, you know, I call your home your controlled environment, right? You get to control everything that goes on within your space. This is a controlled environment. You get to decide what goes in your house. You know, all the foods you want to go in there, all the things you want to surround yourself with, you get to decide, right? This way you can walk into your house excited, excited because everything in your house is everything you put in there because you know it's good for you. Whether it's something to eat, something you can cook with, something you can, you know, use and do with or be happy about so you you're excited to come home because your controlled environment is safe and a happy place right leave for the things that you can't control let them go right that stuff outside your home you can't control what goes on and what people decide to to do or not do that's not your business you let go things you cannot control and that's why when you're outside your controlled environment your home you just cut yourself some slack you just go with the flow enjoy the things you don't normally enjoy you know have a taste of everything um just just have have fun you know have some mindful fun let go and 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 just chill for a bit you know no big deal because you know you can always come home to your controlled environment your 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 space and, and clean things up, right? So no more stressing about that because that's usually why people gain weight. They're just stressing so much, all right? So control what you can, let go what you can't. Now, number three that you must do, so important, is that you never apologize for respecting yourself. And what I mean by that is if you want to be helpful to people around you, you must first help yourself. You, you can only give what you've got. So give yourself everything give yourself what you need like whatever waste food or whatever people say don't do 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 this don't do that doesn't matter you do what you need to do to be happy to feel good because your whatever makes you feel good is your truth so choose your own truth stick to it listen to your body not somebody 
And then when you can be selfish enough to love yourself that way, and selfish is not a bad thing. That's just another thing we've been taught as a, as a you know, as kids that you can't be selfish. But here's the thing. There's a difference between being selfish and just being selfish or being selfish with the big picture in mind. The big picture of, I'm being selfish so I can really, really become of help to others. When, I've, when I can give every thing to myself, love, compassion, forgiveness, when I can take care of myself and feel healthy, then I can take care of everybody else. So you're being selfish with the big picture in mind? That's called being selfless. So be unapologetic, take care of yourself first, then you can truly, after being selfish, you can truly then be selfless without feeling obligated. Because a lot of times when you're helping or taking care of other people or things, you're doing it and feeling a little obligated that's not even really true giving. True giving is given from a place with no feeling of obligation. And the only way you can get to that space is to be selfish first, okay? So let go all the things that weigh you down. And I mean, not just food, right? I'm talking about your negative thoughts, your old habitual you know, habits, <laughs> things that are not conducive to you and who you really are today and who you are going to be. You're going to be someone so much more than you are yesterday. So you've got to let go this weight of the past and just have a new chapter. And you can totally do this. So remember, the top three things you must do first to let go this old weight of the past is number one, better to go to waste than to waste, right? Number two, empty out your fridge and cupboards, clean your home, have that beautiful controlled environment, right? Your space, be yours, create it, and control everything within it so when you leave your home where you're not in a controlled environment, you can let things go and go with the flow, okay? So control your space. Number three is never apologize for respecting yourself, okay? So I hope you guys take this to heart because a lot of people come to me and they all want to lose weight, want to feel great, and they all tell me, I've been training four or five times a week, I'm eating healthy, why am I not dropping this weight? Or if they drop it, it's short-lived. Why am I feeling miserable? Why is it that I keep gaining this weight back? Because I'm telling you, none of that surface stuff works if you don't work on the inner stuff first. Okay, so focus on these top three things that I just shared with you, and then see what happens.